Hi, good evening and welcome to Athens City Council. Tonight is Monday, December 8th, 2014. We are on a special session of council. We do have a quorum of enough members to vote this evening. All members are present. I will be voting, uh, even though I'm sitting in as president pro tem for Jim Sands. Under communications, any communications from on council up here? I do have one brief communications, which uh, is, is uh, acknowledgement from President Jim Sands that he will be tendering his resignation uh, as a member of his resignation as a member of City Council effective December 31st, 2014. So that's something that saddens many of us and, and uh, it's also in the news as well, which you may or may not have read about, but um, for personal reasons, he's choosing to move forward with this, this life away from Council. Moving on to ordinances for third reading. Ordinance 116-14. An ordinance authorizing the service safety director to enter into an LPA federal local let project agreement with the Ohio Department of Transportation, ODOT, for construction of a bike path from Armitage Road to Columbus Road, project number 270, and declaring an emergency. This is introduced by Councilmember Pappy. Thank you, Mr. Pro Tem. I move to adopt 116.14. Second. We discussed this now the last two weeks, several weeks in a row, quite extensively. Um, this regards the uh, federal and state money that we received uh, to uh, complete the bike spur off of Columbus Road. And um, this is the agreement that uh, allows us to do that. Thank you, Mayor Pappy. Is there any questions or comments on the ordinance prior to voting? Mayor's office. We do have a motion and a second. All those in favor of the ordinance, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. The ordinance has been adopted. Moving on to ordinance 119-14. An ordinance authorizing the city auditor to deposit 70% of the transient guest tax revenue collected from January 1st, 2015 through December 31st, 2017 into the tourism fund. And this is introduced by Councilmember Nisley. Thank you, Mr. President. I move adoption of ordinance 119.14. Second. And the purpose of this uh, ordinance is to continue our split of the tourism uh, transient guest tax revenue that is collected. And this is a, a tax that's collected on all hotel rooms. Our previous split prior to two years ago was 50% to the general fund and 50% to the tourism fund. What ended up happening then during the year is we would need to make transfers over to the tourism account so there would be adequate uh, funds. This split of the 70-30 was instituted uh, several years ago. We said we'd give it two years, see how it works, and based on the auditor's recommendations, we've learned that it is working um, on a fairly even keel for us, putting the money in on a more regular basis into the account which is needed. So we're, um, with this ordinance, uh, then adopting uh, that same percentage of the 70% to the, the transient guest tax to the tourism fund for 2015 for the next two years till December 31st, 2017. Thank you, Member Nisley. Any questions or comments from Council? Mayor? Uh, again, this is a fund that's been growing. Um, tourism has had an uptick in the past couple of years. Uh, Expectations along the way is that we have two commitments, one being to the Tourism Bureau itself uh, and the other one to the Economic Development Council. And those are where the, the money goes to our, our uh, both economic development and tourism. Um, by law, the rest is supposed to be going to, 50% is going into um, the general fund, but most of the time we've been pulling it out just to cover those two uh, activities. So uh, the anticipation as time goes on, eventually you'll hit a, uh, a settling point where you won't have to do that that often. I don't know if we'll have enough hotels for that, but 
they're growing even they're they're being built as we speak so we'll see how this uh, turns out thank you thank you mayor so we have a motion uh, to adopt the ordinance as well as a second all those in favor of the ordinance please signify by saying aye aye, aye. those opposed same sign the ordinance has been adopted Ordinances for second reading, Ordinance 118-14, an ordinance to stop imposition of the Community Center Income Tax Levy authorized by Ordinance 137-95, effective January 1st, 2016, and amending Athens City Code, Title 15, Chapter 15.01, Income Tax Section 15.01.03, Imposition of Tax. Introduced by all council members, and I believe Councilmember Nisley, was that correct? Was going to address this? Uh, yes, and I think we we don't need to. Oh, it's uh, second reading. It's a Thank second you. Second reading right. on this one, and probably the next one. Thank you. So. Any comments on second reading? Ordinance one twenty fourteen, an ordinance to make appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the City of Athens, Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December thirty first, twenty fourteen introduced by the Finance and Personnel Committee. Ordinance 121-14, an ordinance authorizing staffing levels, a non-union pay scale, and slotting for the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2015, repealing all ordinances inconsistent therewith and declaring an emergency, introduced by the Finance and Personnel Committee. Any questions or comments? Uh, yes, Mr. President, I would request that we um, amend Ordinance 121.14. Uh, the purpose of this being to clarify one of the positions um, that are listed in our part-time and seasonal employees. And this particular position um, what we're doing is correcting a fire intern position, and it uh, corrects it for the position for the person performing the duties at the fire department. And it is slotted um, in the fire department and out of the general fund. Sound accurate? I believe it is for an intern at the fire department. Okay. Yes. Any other questions or comments? We have a motion and a second to amend the ordinance. All those in favor, all those in favor of amending the ordinance 121-14, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. The ordinance has been amended. Any other wishes with the ordinance? I'm curious to know what an intern does at the fire department. It's not oh, fighting fires, I presume. No, they're not. Um, it's sort of a support staff position that assists with answering the phones, doing mail, um, some vouchering. Generating reports, weekly reports as well. <clears throat> Thank you. Was there a need to move forward with that ordinance? It's, it's been read for the first time now and amended. We'll suspend next week. Okay. We'll get second reading next second. week and sure. we can always suspend at that point. Thank you. Same Moving on to Ordinance 122-14, an ordinance adopting a fringe benefits package for non-union personnel within the city of Athens and repealing all ordinances inconsistent therewith and declaring an emergency, introduced by the Finance and Personnel Committee. And Mr. President, I... Um, Move to amend ordinance 122.14. Second. Thank you. The purpose of this is uh, to amend what was listed in a 24-page document that we looked at last year, last week. If council members still have it present, it regards funeral leave. And our original wording on that eliminated one sentence, and it said that proof of death and relationship the deceased must be furnished upon the request of the human resources director or the appointing authority. Last week in the draft text, we had eliminated that 
uh, based on recommendations um, from administration, we are adding that section in saying that proof of death and relationship of the deceased must be furnished upon the request of the human resources director or appointing authority. So that way it's in there, and, and if we need to request the documentation, then it's, then it's we have it listed to provide for that. Thank you. Any questions or comments? So we have a uh, motion to amend and a second for Ordinance 122.14-14. All those in favor of amending only, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. The ordinance has been amended and read for the first time. Moving on to Ordinance 123-14, an ordinance authorizing a contract extension of the city's third party administrator for medical insurance and prescription coverage and declaring an emergency. Introduced by the Finance and Personnel Committee. No questions or comments. Ordinance 124-14, an ordinance amending ordinances 4-09 3-11 and 124-12 and the Athens City Code establishing salaries for certain elected officials introduced by all members of council. Any questions or comments? Ordinance 126-14, an ordinance authorizing an extension of the current franchise agreement with the Ohio Power Company for the use of the city right of way as authorized by ordinance 143-13 and declaring an emergency introduced by council member fall ordinance 127-14 an ordinance authorizing the expenditure of funds for engineering services associated with the north congress street sanitary sewer project number 289 pursuant to ordinance 108-14 introduced by council member patterson any questions or comments? It just needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anybody on the north side will tell you. Thank you, Mayor Weil. Ordinance 128-14, an ordinance declaring certain equipment at the community center no longer needed for a municipal purpose. Introduced by Councilmember Patterson. Ordinance 129-14, an ordinance authorizing an increase for operation of a public access television station for the city of Athens, Ohio, introduced by Councilmember Patterson. Ordinance 130-14, an ordinance authorizing right-of-way acquisition, construction, and construction engineering of a bike path from Armitage to Columbus Road, project number 271, Introduced by Councilmember Pappy. If there's no questions or comments on those, um, we're at a point in the agenda where we will uh, break for executive session. Um, typically, we break um, and then meet with the public for questions or comments and then have our executive session. I don't know if we want to deviate from the agenda or stay? How long will we be in executive session? Okay, so we'll... You need to move to amend the agenda. Okay, well I will do that, thank you. I will move to amend... What are you doing? It's not on there. Executive session, click right. the bargaining. But the yeah. opportunity is not on there. No, no, I meant, I meant um, for public to ask questions after the meeting. Does that make sense? Taking a break Mayor. for 15 minutes or what? Okay. How about, I would <laughs> sure, say, sure. Mayor, go ahead and make the suggestion. Ten, Thank you. Ten. Ten. Ten minutes for press, I think, before we go into executive. Okay. I mean, it's easier for them rather sure. than scoot them all out I and agree. scoot them back in. Thank you. I would agree. It's, and okay. it's also a friendly gesture. Okay. So do we need to amend the... No. Um, no. Okay. no. So we will... Um, we, have to, to we, have, we have to acknowledge for um, who will be in executive I'm, session. I'm a, I move that we go into executive session with all members of council Thank you. and the city administration auditor, sort of safety director, mayor, and the city prosecutor. Second. I don't know, I and I and I. 
Yes. And oh, so. aye. 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 Okay. okay, wonderful. We will um, meet, uh, we'll take a... Five, ten? Yeah, ten, that offer enough time, ten minutes for everyone, and then um, we will uh, enter into executive session. It is approximately 7.17 right now, so 7.30, we will uh, jump into, yeah, the max, <laughs> the latest. Thank you. We don't have a whole